What's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and I'm back with another review of another Feachi product. Um, as I said in my first video that you guys have probably seen, uh, Feachi reached out to me and said, Hey, you want to review some of our products? I said, Absolutely I do. And uh, full disclosure, you know, um, Feachi is one of those companies that, listen, you're not buying, you know, EOTech. You know, you're, you're buying Feachi. And, and that's okay. And let me just say, out of all the Feachi stuff that I have, and I have a good amount of it, uh, I've only really had two issues with Feachi ever. And they were promptly resolved by their um, customer service. So, are, you know, are you buying super high end? No, but let me just say, when I received this Weapon Light 25 from Feachi, I have been very very impressed and let me just say that I have bought lots of weapon lights from Amazon uh, to put on my different tools um, you know I've got little lights like this where you know you've got you know strobe and just regular light and this this is great for a like a go oh, where's it at like a full-size handgun this is great it's even great on like an AR style gun where maybe you just don't want everything really bulky or you, you don't need a, a trigger or anything like that. You just want just a light to put on there. Um, however, um, Feachi did reach out. Like I said, they offered me a couple of products. I picked this and I picked a laser sight for my burn a pistol. And um, let me just say, I am totally impressed with what they sent me. Seriously, guys, I'm not joking. We're going to open this thing up. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about what came in the box. Um, it did come with a charger, a USB cable, and two batteries for this light. Um, actually, the charger is over there getting or charging up the other battery. But I just want to say that, wait till you see. So um, this is actually going to go on one of my um, 300 blackouts. And uh, I'm going to tell you why here in a second. So first off, you're going to get a light. It is pick mounted. Um, I do have adapters that will adapt this to M-Lock as well. Um, so you get this really pretty slim line light. Uh, it's very bright. Um, very bright. Um, and, you know, without the trigger on it, it is just on and off. That's it. Oh, there you go. You can get strobe if you hold down the button. So... If you just, uh, I guess, hold on. Uh, now I don't know how to drop the strobe. All right, either way, doesn't matter. <laughs> so it is strobing. It is a light. Um, it did, like I said, did come with um, some extra screws um, for mounting it to an M-Lock. Um, and I'm going to show you what part that is. Um, it did come with a charger. It came with a strap for your cable, but let me just talk about this cable here for a second. This is very good quality. I was not expecting this rubberized um, lead from the flashlight to my trigger itself. I also was not expecting a, such a well-built trigger. This is um, aluminum. This is not plastic. Um, and also a pick rail um, to slide this onto your uh, pick rail. You can also remove it from this and mount it via M-Lock, which, listen, these are all extra things that most of us have to buy. Most lower end, and I shouldn't say lower end, most affordable, under $100 lights do not come with this nice trigger and this rubberized casing. This is not just a piece of wire like many that I've had or that coily wire. I hate that coily wire. Uh, and it certainly does not come with a mounting plate um, to mount to a pick rail or to M-Lock. So kudos to Feachi for doing that. This is superior for sure. And it even comes with the strap um, to mount this to your gun. So once you get that cable and everything done, you take that cable, you wrap this around, and you cinch it down, and it holds your cable in place. So awesome. Seriously, Feachi, knocked it out of the park. You guys really, really did. Uh, once again, this is the WL25 flashlight. And um, 
And uh, honestly, I mean, for two batteries, a charger, um, the switch, and everything else, I mean, it was a decent price. Um, full disclosure, I didn't pay for it. They sent it to me. Uh, but two of the 2600 milliamp uh, rechargeable batteries, um, these are the, I don't even know what size this is, um, big, like that. Um, so uh, once you hook up the trigger switch to it, or the plate, or whatever you want to call it, um, it's really kind of neat because you got this main button here that turns it on and off. So it's, it's, it's always on or it's always off. Then you've got this um, front button here that just turns it on intermittently. And then you've got your strobe as well. So <clears throat> strobe, what a great freaking thing, especially in a home defense situation where you've got that flashing in your face. It is so disorienting. It is so disorienting. So to have that on a weapon um, and then to be able to mount this to my M-Lock um, right on my, on my rail. Uh, I don't know if I have a rail. Yeah, I do. So with this rail here, you know, this can actually go on this top piece here. Um, and I think it's just going to slide on, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. Maybe it just pushes over. Huh. I don't know. We're going to have to take it apart and figure it out. But either way, um, and then like I said, to be able to M-lock mount it right to the side of the rail as well. Um, just, just absolutely great. And actually, you know what? We're sitting right here. You know what? We've got a few minutes. Let's have some fun. Let's, let's figure out this thing. Take these screws out here. And uh, mount this thing on here and see what it does. So that comes off there. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess you can... Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to figure it out. I'm sure it's just pressure because there's no way... To... Oh, there it goes. Yep, it just snaps on. So, all right. And then it pops off. Okay, so it's just a little bit of stiff, stiff plastic. No worries. Oh, I guess it goes easier from the other side. That is true. Man, I just had it on there the first time. Hey, no comments about my human strength here. <laughs> she uh, she went on. Come on. What the heck? Oh, I see. I didn't have the little lines lined up. There we go. So once you've got that on there, then you can mount your trigger switch. I guess, well, let's see. We put it on backwards. Let's flip that around. Flip that back around, snap that on, and it, it's on there. I mean, that, that's it, it takes some force to put that thing on there, right? I mean, it definitely took some force, so congratulations. Seriously, Feachi, you guys killed it, man. You guys really did. And so there, you know, basically we're going to pretend that we're mounted here. You know, you've got the front of your AR, and, you know, you can hit your buttons and do what you got to do. Um, you know, right off your rail. So, um, you know, I do generally mount my lights on the side, um, up towards the barrel, um, or sometimes underneath. It just depends, you know. I might go underneath with this one. Um, but uh, either way, actually, it'll probably go on my left because I have a tendency to grip my my rails. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, what a, what a great... What a great product. It, it really is. You guys really, you guys shocked me at um, just how how good that was. And uh, like I said, it's it's bright, guys. I mean, that's, I don't know if it says how many lumens. It says 1,200 lumens, 65 feet. It'll run for an hour and a half. Um, this is water um, resistant as well. It's IPX4, um, and it is drop resistant. So, you know, we should be able to... Slam this thing around, and there it is, right? So, I mean, we should really be able to drop that on the ground, and still works. Everything still works. So, you know, I mean, it's not how I, and now I've nicked it up, but I want to show you guys, right? This is what you're getting, and I mean, this is, this is decent. This is really, really decent. So if you guys want to check them out, I'll put a link down below to my Amazon um, <coughs> code there. You can pick this light up. doesn't cost you any extra to use my code, but it certainly gives me a little bit of a kickback and 
just helps out the channel. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Air Guns of Michigan. This is the Feachi WL25 flashlight. Till next time, be good to each other, and God bless.